Hey, do you remember brass utility knife project that I made a while ago? So I've posted the pictures on Reddit and got a great number of suggestions on how to add some nice features and improve it. I am not sure how you react on constructive criticism, but for me it is always fantastic motivation to continue working on creating new and better projects. And since I enjoyed making this utility knife a lot, I think it's worth giving it a try with version 2.0. This time I'm going to make a reverse tanto blade shape. I am not sure if it's a proper name, so if it's not, just please correct me in the comment section. This is the pocket clip from the flashlight and it's fine because I couldn't find any other pocket clips on internet. It looks nice, it is slim and I think it match perfectly for this knife, but it needs a little modification, just like that. I have no idea why, but straight bevels are difficult to me. I have no problems with some strange curvy bevels. Even with double edges I feel much more confident, but straight bevel... They are not my thing. I don't like it. At all.
now the locker nut. The purple color was picked by the customer who actually didn't pick up the order. And to be honest, I don't like people who don't respect my time, because it is not cool, not at all. Anyway, because I'm going to finish this knife, of course, it will be available on my website, so if you like it, you can have it. Visit darkbladeknives.com and send me an email. It is just that simple. The mechanism of keeping all handle parts screwed together was slightly different in old brass version because I threaded all three elements and used only one bolt per hole. However, in this case, I'm going to make a thread only in the element between the scales, let's call it spacer, um, and this solution requires two bolts on each hole. But that is all about. I want to make bottom scale less boring and I think the bolt heads will be much more interesting, especially with uh, this pocket clip, um, than just nothing. However, this solution makes this project a little bit more advanced and um, there will be a lot of drilling so I'm going to explain what will happen in next few minutes, because sometimes it might be a little bit confusing. So, at the beginning we must attach spacers to one of the scale. This requires making perfectly straight, in line and matched to both elements holes. Because only spacer will be threaded, this hole must be smaller than the hole in the scale. So, we are starting from 1.6 drill bit, then we make M2 thread to the spacer, then we increase holes in scales to 2 mm and counterboard it to make some space for the screw, mm, sorry, the bolt head. So at the end there will be a lot of drilling. A lot. Now, the second spacer. The mechanism is the same, so there is no need to explain what I'm doing, but it is good to mention that I'm making spacer from the same steel I used to make a blade. And I could say that it is a waste of a good high carbon steel, 
but because the spacers and the blade is the same thickness I'm actually saving a lot of time and that is something that is sometimes much more valuable than extra piece of metal. Okay, so the final touches with buffing machine and I think we are ready to final assemble, sharpen the blade and we are done. Guys, the utility knife 2.0 is done. If you didn't see the previous project, you can check it here. And let me know down in the comment which design you prefer more. This is all, have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.